In question number four, we can see we've got a spring that's being uh, uh, tested in a laboratory. It's original length is five centimetres. Uh, its final length after it's been subjected to a force is four centimetres. We're being asked to find out what the force constant of the spring is. Well, well, the equation we're going to need to know is F equals Kx, where F is the force applied, K is the force constant, and X is the extension, or in this case, the compression of the spring. The first thing to be aware of here is that we should consider just one of these forces. The, the, the second force down here, we can effectively uh, ignore that is the, re the contact force of the of the bottom surface the desk it's resting on acting back up on the spring so the force being applied here is actually uh, 200 newtons so we can rearrange our equation to get k the force constant is equal to f force divided by x the extension the extension is the original length take away the final length in this case five take away four so that's one centimeter which is one times 10 to the minus two meters. So we're left with 200 newtons divided by one times 10 to the minus two, which gives us 2.0 times 10 to the power of four, which is answer C. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe and visit cowanphysics.com.